you know what? I can't decide if I like this version of the Goron City music or not. It's unique and certainly a different feel from the other Goron Cities, yet very similar at the same time. I feel like they kind of went with a toy instrument type feel with it. I'll just let you listen and decide for yourself, because I'm coming to no conclusions. Or when we enter a house, it goes away! <laughs> uh, yes, I'm an outsider. You put your foot into a Goron home, which we carve out of solid rock. We find them cozy since they stay cool in the summer and warm in the winter. It's always the case with us humans, how we always wanted to be the opposite of whatever it currently is. We can never be satisfied with the warmth in the summer. No, we only want it in the winter. We just have to have everything our own way. I guess while I'm stalling out this intro further, I will show that the shop on Goron Island, uh... Wow, uh, you with your purple hair and living among the Gorons, you're a uh, very progressive person living here. Yes, you are. She allows us to buy bomb chews. But we didn't have a bomb chew bag. I should have known about the laws of dealing with that. This shop also sells yellow potion now, which is 150 rupees for comparison to what it was with Beetle. She also sells the quiver upgrade, which you know what? Going for it. There's a very good reason for this. It's not totally necessary to buy it right away, but it will be useful for something coming up. Now, listen to Zine Music. on, seriously? <laughs> Everything interrupts this music, does it not? <laughs> you know what, whatever, this music does not want to be heard, it sucks. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, as if you didn't know what we were in the middle of already. Last time, we reached Goron Island after going on many, many a treasure hunt within other many a treasure hunts. This time, we're gonna meet the locals here on the island. Your face is unknown to me, but I feel fine sharing words with you. And I will share something about our chief. He loves to play question games. Furthermore, he asks questions that dwell upon the many details of our island life. Ah. I have wondered from time to time why no one's tried putting in, I think it's called Akinator, whatever that thing is where it asks you 20 questions and it knows what you're talking about. I've wondered why no one's tried putting that in a video game, maybe because it would become dated very quickly and you'd have to upkeep it over time, but it would still be really cool if a video game just knew what you were talking about. Um, well, I guess you're selling a video game, so maybe there'd be copyright laws with using people's likenesses and stuff. I guess it's not illegal to say someone's name. Whatever, I'm getting really distracted. Oh, just look at her, what a ship, such a proud beauty. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if only she were mine. What? You've heard this somewhere else, doubtful outsider. You're more like people you've never met than you think that you are. Your face is new to me, outsider. Have you come from the ship? My father is staring at it. That bothers me. If only someone would tell him. Wait, what? what? He said something different the second time. If only someone would tell my father it is strange to just stare at a ship. I don't know. I ship it. You've heard me say that somewhere else, doubtful outsider. <laughs> On to the next area. Is this gonna stop the music too? No, it's not. Give a shout if you ever need anything. I'll pay the toll! You wanna come over here, outsider? I will put the bridge out for you. Oh good, my forwardness had him uh, wave the toll. I like that. Before going on, there's a few other places, such as this one. An outsider, have you heard of a wood heart? I love them so much. We Gorons eat small wood hearts in order to grow into big Gorons. Mm, big Gorons, huh? You sound like you're gonna be helping me with something later on because it's kind of the nature of big Gorons. We'll have to remember that. We haven't heard of anything called a wood heart before. I don't know who you are, outsider, but I'm glad to see you. There are some strange creatures on that cliff. Please make them go away. They should be pretty easy to deal with. This is a benefit to the order that we did things in, actually. Our grappling hook is a really quick range attack, doesn't use up any arrows, so... Joke's on you, Quiver! I bought you and I'm not gonna use you! 
If I can show the grappling hook. Uh, I can hit these guys. Thank you, Outsider. I'm relieved those strange creatures are gone. You are good strangers. Please accept this as a token of my thanks. Treasure map? Right nearby. Back by the Bay Bridge. Now you can cross anytime you want. No toll, of, of course. Uh, well, I appreciate your forwardness back to me. Forwardness makes the world go round. Makes everything a lot less awkward and a lot quicker. Just ask people if you got a question. You are an off islander. We do not share words easily with strangers here. And so I surely sh cannot tell you that our elder's house is up here. Just had to write that down, thank you. I appreciated his forwardness too. I like walking in these doors sideways because it looks all glitchy when you walk through it because you're not meant to do that. Uh, the big Goron secret. We call our islands Goron Amber is actually, on second thought, it is too soon for you to know, outsider. I'll show it next time I walk through a door, which I'm guessing should be pretty soon. Ah, hey, there's a chance to use the shovel. Red rupee. All right, this door is really thick. I'll walk in as angled as I can. Yeah, see, you walk through the wall. I find that way more amusing than anyone should, but it's just because I played so many video games that whenever something like that happens and an experience is typically pretty polished, it stands out. Uh, you there, Mr. Green Pants. You are the son of the elder, Gongoron. Do not take kindly to off islands, off islanders, stranger. Yeah, well, I'll let it slide because you have green pants and I like those. I can't go back on my word. I'm a man of it. I am Big Goron, elder of this island. You have a less original name than your son. How does that make you feel? Like you're a responsible father who wanted to give his son a better life than what he had. Yes, I seek the pure metal. That is a potent Goron symbol. I speak of it no further to an outsider. You must first become a member of our tribe if you wish to learn more. So make yourself known to each and every Goron, then we will speak again. There's still some Gorons we haven't met? I thought I was being pretty diligent with talking to all of them, and I knew that we had to do this. Is there perhaps one over this way? No. Is there perhaps one over that way? Yes! Hey, little stranger, you are no Goron. Only members of the Goron tribe can go through here. <laughs> Ciela, you really did level up. You're telling me things that I actually did want to know. Uh, I like how the only guy I didn't meet is like, I won't talk to you. It's like a lesson for how the gatekeeper of the village is an important job for everyone, even the chief, to know. I can sense your burning desire to rank among the Gorons, outsider. And my burning desire to temper my sword with burning fire. But does your desire to become a Goron burn to your very core? Let me probe into the matter with a game of questions. Care to take the initiation test? Only 20 rupees. <laughs> this is like a tourist attraction. Just what I like to hear. First, let me explain the rules. I will ask you six questions and give you a prize for each correct answer. But get just one wrong and I will take everything back. I will also grant you one Goro hint that eliminates one of the wrong answers. You will understand best if you simply try it. First question. How many homes are there on this island? He advises you to go back through Goron, the Goron village again and take notes on everything that you can. Oh, it's beautiful. Here's what I came up with. Lowercase g's are children. Uppercase G's are adults. The huts that uh, are drawn around the G's represent houses, and there's three rocks over in that house because nothing can be easy. It's a pretty efficient system of conveying information, if I do say so myself, with the very limited tools at my disposal. Bring it on! I have studied and this is open note quizzes! It's like you're not asking me to cheat. Let us begin, outsider. First question. How many Gorons live on this island? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I earned that applause. Keep it up. Next question. The Goron at this spot. What is he staring at? Uh, the boat. Correct. Blue rupee. 
How many homes are on this island? Cease? You are amazing! You have answered half of the questions with ease! But how will you fare with the remaining three? Let us find out, outsider. Easy one, stranger. What number question is this? He will always ask this as the fourth question, so if you've gotten this one, you know you have an easy answer. You can't fool me. We've now made a profit on the amount of rupees that we've paid in, uh, to play this game. You are so smart, stranger. Your desire to be one of us burns very brightly. But two questions remain. I wonder if you will survive our initiate. I wonder if you, I, for a second I thought he said, I wonder if you will survive annihilation. <laughs> Saw it out of the corner of my eye. And so next question. How many rupees have you won so far? Easy. He will always ask this on the fifth question. So the answer is always 46. I'm kind of glad we got both of those because he doesn't always ask the same questions and uh, getting the two that are not variables and being able to just tell them to you straight up is nice. 100 rupees. Oh, I can barely tell you uh, from a Goron stranger. So close, so close. Answer this final question, and you'll officially be a member of us Gorons. Of those Gorons outside, how many are adults? One, two, three, four. Smack dab in the middle. Is that your ultimate answer, almost Goron? Yes. Correct! Congratulations, you are now an official brother of our proud Goron tribe. And so it shall now be, it, it, so it shall now and forever that we call you Gorolink. I also reward you deep with your deep knowledge with this. Wisdom Gem! And you thought the Gorons represented power. Nope, he's here to defy the norms because he loves quiz questions so much. Ahem. And now, because you are an official member, I need to collect the official dues. Just a one-time payment, of course. 146 rupees. Nope. No, you are a proud brother and contributor, Goro Link. You must pay the one-time dues of 146 rupees. No. Shirking off dues will not be tolerated. Pay up. No way. Stubborn, eh? Big Goron will not tolerate dues shirkers. It is only 146 rupees. Pay now or endure my wrath. Nope. Is that how you want it? Then we will have to shake those dues out of you! Thank you! You are now a brother of the Goron tribe in good standing! Enjoy your proud Goron life on our island! <laughs> so, Chief, how about that pure metal? Oh yes, I am growing forgetful in my old age. The pure metal is now in our temple. I put it there for safekeeping. You are now one of us, so you are free to take it, Goro Link. And little Gongoron there will show you to the temple. I love the Gorons so much, even if this little brat just insulted me to my face. Do you really want our pure metal? Then just try and keep up with me. I love the Gorons so much. Always such a good source of entertainment. I think that they are the most necessary race to new Zelda games, honestly. Even more so than Zora's. And I guess the developers of Phantom Hourglass agreed with me on that. Where'd that Goron kid get you so fast? We really need to find him. Hey, Gorons can be pretty darn fast, buddy. I've been a Goron before, and you would not believe the ways they get around. Hey, Goro Link. Looks like you are now an official Goron. What? Gongoron? No, I can't say I have seen him, brother. Not this way. Where else could he be? I welcome you as a member of our tribe with open arms, Goro Link. What? Gongoron? I saw him run to the west side of our island, brother. I'm glad those are open arms and not hugging arms, because, uh, that would crush my spine. And I like my spine. I would prefer to keep it. What do you say? Uh, do you have any tips? Over there. Oh, perfect. Catch me if you can, never go on. Kids can be so cruel. They think of those insults in one second, and they hurt so much worse than anything that takes me days to think up. Because I'm just not good at hurting people. Where did he actually go? Uh, that's another thing about kids is that they outsmart you from time to time and it hurts. Gongron got away. I saw him head east. Uh, catch him quick so you can play with me next. Does Lineback have anything new to say now that we're official Gorons and all? Heard you made an official Goron, brother Link. Well, that sounds like a total waste of time to me. You nitwit Lineback. You haven't given us any help, so, it, so we had to go find some. Hey, and you'd never be welcomed by this proud tribe. It has high standards. Standards? You think I don't have enough pride to have standards too? 
Come on, let's pull together and find that pure metal. Goro Link. <laughs> you, my man, you've been the most helpful. He headed over by the gatekeeper. Over here, not Goron. Come this way. Now that you are a Goron, brother, you can go right on it, right in Goro Link. You see that little Gongoron has gone to the temple. He was supposed to lead us there. He's not shirking his duties. He's doing exactly what Daddy asked him to do. A dead end. But Gongoron just ran down this way. What I want to know is I know that Gorons can move very fast. And I know that they are crafty. But what I want to know is how he got through here without breaking the walls and with there being water on all sides of us, because Gorons sink like, well, stones in the water. I know that for a fact, at least. I don't claim to know everything about their people, but I'm pretty confident in at least that much. Stepping on that switch does not initiate a timer, does it? Oh, uh, da, 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 da. my rope does not conduct electricity. Joke's on you. Thank you. Oh, and I have sword beams. What am I? Wait, I don't have my sword beams equipped? Give me that. How did I not have that? Maybe it reset if I saved and quit or something? I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure I've saved and quit lots of times and never had that happen. Maybe I tapped it in the menu when I was checking my collectibles? That's probably what happened. There's some bombs for the troubles. Uh, I want to note that over here there is... Secret hole. In the other pathway that we bombed down, there is a bomb flower right here. Sword lasers are even more helpful when it comes to getting rid of said bombs. Oh, nope. There we go. Kapow! Double kapow. We're just blowing up all sorts of stuff. Partying like we got powder kegs in here. And down this way, up. Oh. Blasting jelly is what I call you now. <laughs> Death by pun. Over in this dead end is a chest containing another big green rupee. This looks awfully suspicious. Uh, why did I pick up a bomb? Bah. Well, it worked out. I don't think I had full health before, and now I do. Not like you need it for the sword lasers, but it certainly helps. Uh Oh boy, there's gotta be, there has to be some way through. Yes, there cannot be anything else other than a bombable wall right there to get through. Pretty cryptic, I'm sure some NPC clued us into that, but who needs a social life when you have yourself to remember it? Uh, next treasure chest is a power gem. There's the thing that you'd expect to find on this island. How are we doing on those? 16 power, 15 wisdom, 14 courage. Still kind of funny we have the least amount of courage out of everything given who we are. By getting through that maze, we got like likes again. We heard that if a shield is ever lost, you can buy one in the store, and I think it's in the place of the yellow potion normally. That's good to keep in mind because like likes are now becoming even more common. I wonder if that Goron kid went in here. Guess all we can do is go inside. Shortcut back to the village. The elder's lesson comes full circle because now we know that we have ruined the livelihood of that guy who guarded the gate for a living. And besides that, nothing else. As we stand before the Goron Temple entrance, next time on The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, eh, we gave up looking for Gongoron. We're just gonna go into the temple. See you guys then.